Hi, I'm Art Baudo. I'm a principal product marketing manager at AWS. Joining me today is Charlie Huang. Charlie's joining me from NVIDIA, from the AI enterprise team. Charlie, can you introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, thanks for having me, Art. Appreciate yeah. it. Looking forward to our conversation here. My name is Charlie Huang. I'm a senior product marketing manager in the enterprise computing group focused on AI software. Wow, so AI today, Charlie, is a huge uh, area for many of our customers and obviously for many of NVIDIA's customers as well. Could you give me a little bit of a background about kind of NVIDIA and its relationship to AI? I mean, I have a pretty good idea of all there the many things that NVIDIA has been doing and how people have used many of your GPUs, for example, for AI. But maybe for the audience who's uh, listening today, could, could we maybe you could give us a little bit more uh, detail? Yeah, um, you know, NVIDIA has pioneered accelerated computing um, to really tackle the challenges that otherwise can't be, be solved. Um, you know, our, our work in AI and computer graphics, it, it, it's really transforming industries um, that's valued over $100 trillion, you know, from, from gaming to healthcare to trans transportation. Um, you know, a, a lot of people know NVIDIA as a, a gaming and graphics company. And, and really, um, uh, you know, with ChatGPT over the, the last year, that, that was really the iPhone moment of AI. And really all businesses now are looking at implementing AI across their businesses. Yeah, and I think they're, you know, one of the things that they're doing is trying to figure out how to use AI, right? And it's the, com the complexity of how they can take advantage of AI, how they can deploy it uh, securely and how they can deploy it easily and confidently within their networks. So maybe we could characterize you know, I think both of us probably, Charlie, can agree that uh, AI is moving really, really fast, right? I mean, there's, I think most people out there may have before this year not even known of ChatGPT, let alone OpenAI, and things have changed a great deal, right? And now a lot of companies are, who may not have thought about it are now really looking into it. So maybe you can talk a little bit about uh, AI uh, production from NVIDIA's standpoint and, and some of the information you have about that from the enterprise, excuse me, standpoint as well. Yeah, absolutely, Art. Um, you know, I, I think a, a lot of companies that, that start looking at AI, um, it was kind of more like a pilot or an experiment. But now they're, they're really trying to figure out how do I take the, the dabbling in AI to, to production? And how do yeah. I use it across my business? How do I monetize it, right? You know, and, and right now we're, we're seeing that enterprises are struggling to deploy AI. You know, some of the stats that are out there um, is only 54% of uh, AI projects today move from um, pilot to production. So it, it's really half these projects, right? Um, yeah, there's a huge and, failure rate, obviously. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and not only that, it, it's taking a long time, right? It, on average, it's, it's over seven months from, you know, taking AI from pilot to production. A lot of times, even more. And so... Um, businesses are, are, are looking for ways on how do, how do they accelerate it? How do they get to production so they, they could start making money, right? How, how they can make the, the workings of where they're implementing AI in their business um, quicker and more efficient. Right. And yeah, a lot of this for return on investment, right? You know, the exactly. seven months and 54% of projects failing is a huge number. Um, from a customer, from, from an execution perspective. And it's a cost thing for businesses that are out there, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, the, the other stat is um, a lot of these enterprises are going to, to the cloud. They're going to AWS, right? Um, you know, yeah. one of the stats is, you know, cloud computing uh, it will be heavily impacted um, about 90% of the enterprises by 2027 and, and 50% um, of the infrastructure for performance, uh, performance intense computing, you know, for example, like AI workloads, that's all going to be cloud-based, right? And, and we know that during the pandemic, there's a supply chain shortage, right? And so it's very hard for people to build the, the infrastructure they need to run AI. So they're turning to AWS. Right. So, so yeah, and, and the cloud is a phenomenal. 
Sorry, Charlie, but I mean, the cloud just following up is a phenomenal way to take advantage of performance and expand as you're looking at running in a new AI enterprise. You know, you need a lot of compute capacity and you need to do a bit of work as you get to your project. And the cloud is a great way to, you know, use the additional performance while you're kind of building up your AI algorithms, I would say. Exactly. And that's why we're partnering together, right? And that's yeah. why NVIDIA infrastructure, NVIDIA AI software, um, that's all available on AWS for, for customers to really, yeah. if they haven't started AI, they could get started right away. If they're, you know, just dabbling in AI and they want to take it to production, it's all there available now um, on AWS. That's the beauty of of the this partner the work that we've done together is, is is trying to make it as easy as possible for someone to get started no matter where they are on their journey whether they're starting their cloud journey now whether they're just moving to the cloud or on the same on their AI side right Charlie that they're where they're starting their AI journey or they're trying to expand with the work that they're doing in AI and they see a need for additional performance capacity software resources as well to get this accomplished the cloud is a great way to take advantage of those resources. Yeah, and and you know, um, customers, they're, they're very, enterprises are very familiar with um, NVIDIA GPUs on AWS, right? That, that's been there for uh, many, many years. Absolutely. And now, now there's NVIDIA AI software that, that's available on AWS. And, and really it's the, the combination of software and that infrastructure that's really going to accelerate businesses um, to, to bring that AI into production and, and utilize it because they're, they're using AI really across all their business. If, if you think about, yeah. um, you know, customer service, for example, um, virtual assistants and chatbots are, are prevalent, right? Yeah. If, if you go to any support site, you're likely going to run into an, uh, a chatbot before you actually get um, someone physically on the phone or on actual um, a person on the other side of the chat, right? So you already see AI infused in that part of the business. If you look at HR, um, a lot of people are, are applying to, to various jobs across the company. And it's not, it's not a human that's filtering through hundreds and thousands of resumes, right? AI is doing that. Well, and some of these some of these tasks, Charlie, it's impossible for a human to filter the the number of you know pieces resumes or things that come in, for example, or in your other example with the chatbot. You know, they're getting better and better as we've gone along in time, right? And the we all have specific requests when you call a service to ask for something, and the more you know the chatbots have become familiar, the better they have become in supplying better information and more targeted information to the customers that have shown up. Yeah, I'll give you a personal example. Um, there was um, a package that I received from Amazon the other day and yeah. it, it was damaged. So I went on the support site and I don't, I, it was fully, um, the, the chatbot knew exactly what, what I was contacting <laughs> customer service. So literally I got my, my service request resolved in like, two minutes. It was amazing. So to your point, it's getting better and better, right? Every day. Um, and it, for it makes things easier for you, right? It, it, you as the consumer in that case to return your, your item, but the idea that it's able to understand, okay, it's probably, Charlie's probably referring to something that I just shipped him today. That's a certain level of AI intelligence that has to happen in order to execute that response to someone. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So we're, we've talked a little bit about, you know, the AI platform. Maybe you could give it a the way. What are some of the ways that people actually build and start their AI platform? I mean, I know you talked before about this combination of hardware and software, which I think is really, really key. You know, that working hardware and software together are huge elements here. Yeah. Um, you know, really up into this point, um, like I mentioned, um, developers have, well, you know, businesses have been kind of piloting AI, trying to figure out how they want to implement AI. And so they've been taking, um, you know, AI software from the open source. But what, what businesses are realizing is that as they're building it from open source, they don't know how to support it as they go deploy it, right? So when, when you think about... Um, 
your business running on a solid foundation that's uh, fully supported. A, a good example of this is, is Red Hat, right? When you look at Linux, how many businesses are, are deploying and using open source Linux? There are, there, there, there are plenty of developers, when you, but when you talk about uh, going to deploy it into your enterprise production environment, they're using someone like Red Hat, right? And AI software is going to be the same thing. There, there's going to be open source AI software that's great for development, but ultimately when you're taking it into production, you want enterprise grade that's going to have long-term support. If there's an issue with it, um, you need enterprise support, let's say from NVIDIA being the experts, right? So, um, you know, right. you, you, you want the... Yeah, you want the flexibility of the open source, but the stability that's offered by in exactly. your great example of Red Hat, right? You want the kind of confirmation, especially when you're doing launching kind of production software here and production level AI, right? You want that chat um, AI or the chat bot that you referred to with the Amazon exactly. example earlier. It needs to be exact. There can't be mistakes happening in the launch. And, and that's part of what some of these uh, backstops help do. So tell us a little bit more about uh, the enterprise uh, software here from NVIDIA, Charlie. Yeah, so um, we, we, we launched this product about um, two years ago. It was kind of focused on-prem, but as we're seeing, as we talked about earlier, um, AI computing's really happening a lot in the cloud now. And so... We want to make this available um, on AWS so we can meet customers uh, where, where they're looking for it. And what, what we've brought um, to AWS is, is called NVIDIA AI Enterprise. And what this offers is um, enterprise grade support, security and reliability of the AI software. And, and what this translates to is, you know, it, it helps businesses speed uh, time to production because um, in within its the, the AI software, NVIDIA AI Enterprise, includes things like AI workflows, which are are, are bundled uh, software that includes like the containers, the Helm charts, so that the 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 businesses that are new to AI, they could take this, they they could take the AI workflows and start not from like scratch, but start from a starting point. So if they want to do, let's say, a virtual intelligent virtual assistant, we have an AI workflow for that. And they, they don't have to figure out how to piece things together. So think about so like a, a Lego kit. You, you could build things by buying each individual block, or you could, you could buy a kit that kind of has all the blocks that you need. So that's what we provide it. Also pre-trained models, rather than having collecting all your data through you know, the years and decades, we have pre-trained models available in, in the software suite. And so that's really going to increase efficiency and, and cost savings when they're running the NVIDIA AI enterprise software on NVIDIA GPUs, all available, um, optimized and certified on AWS. That sounds awesome, Charlie. And I love the example of the Lego thing, because I just want to say to everyone out there, I buy the kit. Uh, it's easier to get started and it still takes yeah. me a while to get it done sometimes, Charlie, but uh, yeah. I can't imagine like assembling from scratch for those things. Uh, you know, you kind of need that, that assistant, if you will. And, you know, I think what you're saying here is, is some of this helps lay, if you will, the foundation and it allows a customer to potentially focus on what's really important to them in their business and, you know, leave some of this other stuff to folks like yourself to be able to offer uh, customers. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, what do you have anything else um, about it? Where can customers actually get uh, the so the enterprise software, NVIDIA AI enterprise software? Yeah, so they could get NVIDIA AI enterprise directly through the AWS marketplace. Um, if, if let's say it um, a, a customer was running uh, on-prem and they're, they're a customer of NVIDIA AI Enterprise and they're looking to, to move it to AWS, there's um, bring your own license. So if, if they already purchased it, they could bring their license from on-prem uh, to AWS. If they don't already have it, they could get started right through the AWS marketplace. And there, there's, a, there's a couple of options. They, they could try it on demand. So just for you know, $2 per GPU per hour, they could get started right away. If, if they know this is something that they need and want to deploy it, there's also private offers so that they 
they could um, you know, have a longer term commit a discount rate. And that's all uh, directly through the AWS marketplace. That's great. And I, I mean, I like the idea, one, that there's a BYOL, bring your own license situation so you can easily get started there. Or for those who haven't done it or are interested in getting started, there's the simplicity of using the AWS marketplace to get started, which is, and those options, Charlie, on the cost side, sound like they're a really easy way to that you've made it to get started here. But maybe we could talk a little bit more about some of the NVIDIA AI Enterprise key uh, features that you have that are out there for, for those customers that are listening. Yeah. So, um, you know, the, the, the value of this, there's, there's kind of, um, five different, uh, categories of benefits that, that we like to talk about for NVIDIA AI enterprise First is the, the security and reliability, right? So again, um, when we're looking at open source, um, open source software is really, it's, it's constantly being um, updated and it, it's hard to lock down for, for enterprises stability of software, right? And so that, that's a, a, one of the key reasons why enterprises need enterprise grade software. And, and so we, we do security patching. We, we, we're constantly looking for um, CVEs, which are, um, are, which are like vulnerabilities and exposures. And okay. then there, there's also long-term supported branches. So if you look at, let's say, automotive and, and healthcare and finance, those are industries that need stability in their software. They, they can't go out to the field and go patch software like in an instant, right? They need something yeah. that's stable for let's say like two, three years, maybe more, right? right. And, and and NVIDIA AI Enterprise um, supports that. It, it provides that kind of stability that that these industries needs. Now, the the, the second one is the exclusive features. I, I talked about um, AI workflows, uh, pre-trained models. We also offer like let's say unencrypted pre-trained models so that customers have the ability to adjust like uh, like the, the different uh, weights and biases of, of the model so they could tweak it a little bit more and there's more flexibility. And so that those are features um, you know that, that are there today and there's more features that we're going to include um, in Nvidia AI enterprise that you can't get anywhere else. So there's some exclusive features that are available. You have the security and reliability. Everyone cares about both stability and security, uh, Charlie. So those are two great features. You said there were five. So let's yeah. hit up the other three here, right? Yeah. yeah. So the third one is um, the the ecosystem, right? Uh, we we partner with um, you know AWS is one example, but also um, a lot of the ML ops partners. Um, you know, to, just just for example, so there's there's certification with um, other um, ISVs and um, ML ops that we make sure there's compatibility and certification with NVIDIA AI enterprise software with, with these partners. Um, there's the hardware certification. So I, I mentioned um, we certify and test all our software on past, current, and future um, GPUs or NVIDIA accelerators, um, DPUs as well. And then, so that that's the third pillar. So the, the fourth is the, the ongoing delivery, right? So we have we have revs um, at least every quarter. And so they're, they're just constant updates, uh, patches, bug fixes, so that the, the biz, the, our customers have the confidence of knowing that they're gonna be taken care of when uh, an, an issue happens or they want to jump on to a new release, they have that ability. Um, they, they just access um, NVIDIA AI Enterprise for, for all that. Um, you know, we'll have future releases with, with new, new features and, and exciting new stuff, and uh, they'll be able to access all that. And then the last one, it, this is huge for, for uh, businesses and um, a big part of why enterprise software is extremely important. It, it's the support. It's the technical support. So when anything goes down with their AI, they could reach out to NVIDIA and get support, access to um, technical ex AI experts. And so if you think about when businesses are deploying things and 
let's say uh, their system goes down. If their AI goes down, they may be losing millions of dollars, right? For, for every minute, maybe every hour that um, the system's down. And so with enterprise grade um, AI software, they could call NVIDIA experts to, to debug and figure out what's wrong and get fixed right away so they could uh, stop losing money and start making yeah. money. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's what everybody wants to do, Charlie, keep, make sure they're making money. Yeah. So the value uh, that I hear, the five pillars is, is, is the security and reliability that you mentioned, the ad exclusive features, if you will, that, you have that, that are offered that you characterized here, the support for an entire ecosystem. So a full industry complementing the ecosystem support here, your continuous delivery. You mentioned the, you know, dr uh, code drops that are available and the updates on a minimally quarterly basis. And finally, this key element of the technical support, being able to pick the phone up and call somebody or talk to somebody or chat with somebody when there is a problem so that you don't find your network or your system uh, down here at all. Uh, yep, you nailed it, Art. All right. See, I, I listen, Charlie. Uh, so I, I want to thank you for coming out uh, here today to talk to us about this. Is there anything else that we've missed, Charlie, as we wrap up that we should make sure that people out there know? No, I, th I think we covered it, Art. Um, I, I, I just really encourage uh, you know, um, people to go out there, get, get on the AWS Marketplace, look up um, NVIDIA AI Enterprise, and start playing with it. If, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to, to NVIDIA and we'd be happy to, to answer all your questions. But um, the GPUs, the, the software, it's, it's all there available on AWS today. So please go check it out um, and, and get started today. Um, uh, you know, we'll help you accelerate your, your time to production AI. Yeah, thanks Charlie for joining me today. Thanks, Art. Thanks for having me.